some people say I have far too many coats and um, when I do videos like this I tend to agree with them but um, never mind, <laughs> we'll carry on. Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a video which quite a few people have mentioned actually and if I'm honest thinking about it I'm not sure why I haven't done it sooner but with the Christmas period I did add a few more bits to this ever-growing collection so I thought it was about time I showed you my rather extensive faux fur collection. Most of my coats of course, um, I don't have many faux fur jumpers I don't think um, and then there's a few little accessories which I'll show you at the end as well. I do have a few coats and jackets which have like a faux fur trim so I don't think I'll show you those. Um, I'm sure they've appeared in videos and I, you know this would go on forever and ever but I thought I would just show you the items which are full on faux fur and which I just absolutely love. I never realised I had such a love for it um, until well until many people have pointed it out that I have quite a big collection. So here we are I'm gonna start. First item is this ridiculously pink <laughs> faux fur coat. I have to mention that of course you no doubt will have seen an awful lot of these pieces in other videos or lookbooks or you know my other videos but I thought it'd be nice just to do a round up in one video so if you've got a undying love for faux fur like I have then you can see it all in one video so I hope that's all right as I said I know you'll have seen pretty much all of these pieces but anyway this is my faux fur collection so the first item is this pink faux fur coat this is just one of my favorite items ever as you can imagine I don't get an awful lot of wear out of this it's certainly not an understated or a, like a subtle piece but I really really love this I bought this um, no I got this actually for Christmas last year from my parents after I'd seen it on the ASOS website and I just absolutely love it it's one of those kind of real eye-catching items um, and I just think it's absolutely lovely plus it's so so soft as well um, so this is my first coat <laughs> of many <laughs> Okay, so coat number two is this one. This is one of the very first faux fur coats that I bought. I actually bought this off eBay. It was a real kind of lucky win, to be honest. I mean, I saw it and you know, you can't always tell too much from photographs, but when it came, it just fitted perfectly. It's exactly the color I wanted. Um, and I've, I've just worn it just so, so much over the last, gosh, I, I can't even think, probably five years, even longer. Um, it is starting to get a little bit tatty. Um, the fur is certainly not as soft as a lot of my other ones, which are slightly newer, but I quite like that about it. It has a real vintage feel, um, and I've just, as I said, it goes with so much. I love the colour of it. I just think it's one of those pieces which, even if I find something quite similar, I just don't think I'll ever have the heart to throw this one out. So I think what I'll do is I'll show you all of the coats first and then I said I can move on to accessories and gilets and whatever else I have. So I won't talk about this one for too much, I said, because this was in not my last video, but I think my video before that. Um, and it was this coat. Looking back on it, I didn't actually show it too well. I'm not sure if I'm showing it too well this time, but um, this was a new addition to my wardrobe just before Christmas. I bought this on ASOS, originally from Urban Code, originally fairly expensive um, but I managed to pick it up for about £60 which I thought was quite a good deal really for this. Um, it's so different as I said I always feel like a reindeer when I wear it just because the colours are beautiful on this. It's this lovely greyish kind of colour and then it's just speckled with the white and the kind of chocolatey brown at the bottom. I absolutely love it as I said I always get compliments when I wear this because it's just so wonderfully different. I absolutely love this one and this is certainly a very welcomed addition to my ever-growing collection. Oh, now this might be one which I haven't shown on my channel. It's certainly not in a sit-down video, um, but it's this one. I didn't know whether I was cheating a little bit with this because there's a lot of faux fur on it, but obviously it's not kind of a faux, you wouldn't describe it as a faux fur coat, but I just absolutely love this coat. I mean, it's faux fur all on the inside, and then on the outside it's this faux suede grey. I bought this from Tesco's. Honestly, as I've said before, Tesco's do sometimes have just some absolute gems. If you look kind of frequently, sometimes you find some really lovely pieces. I think I bought this last year, or possibly the year before that. I'd eyed it up for a while, and it went down in the sale, so... 
inevitably, inevitably I decided to pick it up but I absolutely love it it's got the waterfall style design down the middle here and then just this humongous collar and it's so soft inside it's just something a little bit more luxurious I think if you're wearing a simple jumper even with what I'm wearing today and then just jeans having this over the top not only is it warm but I just think it adds such a lovely kind of element of texture to an outfit so I really really like this one so this is another coat <laughs> Another coat <laughs> is this black one. This is from H&M. I bought this in the sale last year, I remember. I think it was £50 and it was half price, so reduced to £25. I love this one because unlike pretty much all the other faux fur coats, this is a slightly cropped style. So it just looks so nice. If you don't want kind of something hanging down to your knees or below your thighs, this is just a really nice, simple coat to wear with just a kind of a slightly shorter or cropped jumper. I thought I would get a black one. I don't wear black an awful lot, but there's something about this and it's also quite poofy. I think because it's shorter, it almost poofs out a bit and I just think it looks so effortless. I absolutely love how it looks. It looks quite classy if you're wearing an all black outfit with just this kind of huge puffiness of faux fur. There's something about this. I absolutely love it. Um, and I think I've said this before, but it's almost got a kind of a, a really dark blue midnight tint to it. You can't see it in many lights, but in some lights you can just see almost like a hint of blue, which I just, I love it. I think it's so, so nice. Like all the others, it's so soft. Um, and I said this is from H&M. Some people say I have far too many coats and um, when I do videos like this I tend to agree with them but um, never mind, <laughs> we'll carry on. Um, okay so the next two pieces again I'm not going to talk about too much because I feel like I've spoken about them quite a lot. They appeared in my new editions December haul I think it was um, but it's two faux fur gilets the first is this white one I love this so much it's so soft it's a slightly different textured faux fur um, but it's a longer length one as well and I just think again with a really nice cozy jumper underneath this just adds something really simple it's just a really nice classic shape it's a really lovely design and sometimes I think faux fur looks nice when it's a kind of a more creamy and neutral tone to it um, I think it makes it look a little bit more luxurious in my opinion so I really like that one so that's the first one and then the second one I think again I said it was from a present from Dave completely unexpected um, I absolutely love this I wore it the other day um, the colours of it the tone and the colour is just exactly what I was after I think it's so so pretty it's so soft as well a much more finer faux fur than the one I've just shown you this was from Zara I think um, but uh, yeah I absolutely love this one another faux fur gilet <laughs> Oh god, um, this is one from Topshop. I love this colour so much. I just, this was a real luxury purchase when I bought it. It wasn't cheap, um, but I just fell in love with it and I thought, I'll bugger it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. But I'm devastated because it started to go a bit frizzy down the middle here. I've got no idea why. I don't know what I've done. I haven't done anything differently. I haven't stored any differently. I don't think it's rubbed against anything. But I can't bring myself to throw it out because I just love this so much. But I think it's getting worse. I don't know. Is there like something living in it? I don't know. I don't know why it seems to get worse. But yeah, I don't know. If anyone knows why this would happen, I'm really disappointed in it, if I'm honest. Because I only bought it either last year or the year before that. I haven't had it that long. So I am thoroughly disappointed, if I'm honest, in Topshop. Because I just love this. Normally the quality is so, so good with them. But for some reason, this is failing fast um, so perhaps I need to get as much wear out of it as I possibly can between now and it turning into a shriveled faux fur mess. Okie dokie so that's all the coats the gilets I think now we are just on to accessories see it's not actually that big it wasn't that big a collection after all was it? <laughs> um, anyway so again I'm not going to talk about this for too much because um, again this was in a recent video but this is a lovely faux fur stole I spotted this on ASOS and just absolutely loved it um, it looks like a foxtail I think that's what it's meant to look like I thought it was something a little bit different um, you can get an awful lot kind of with different multicoloured ones now but I thought this was still quite subtle still very wearable but I just really loved the white tip on this um, so if this is available actually I will link it because it may well be unless it's gone into their sale but I absolutely love that one 
Okay, and the next one I wanted to show you is this gigantic black faux fur stole. I mean, this is huge. This is, I think when I bought this, I didn't quite realise actually how big this is. Um, it is gigantic, but I just, I kind of call it like my 1920s one because it's just so ridiculously big and glamorous and I absolutely love this. Again, this is from Tesco's, I believe. I think it was 20... 20 pounds I think this one um, but I haven't got as much wear out of it as I would have liked to because it is just so big you can't really get this over many coats because most of my coats have a jacket have a jacket have like a collar or something anyway but I absolutely love this and I think there will always be an occasion where you have to wear a ridiculously oversized black faux fur stole at some point so I've got this one and then the last accessory I thought I would just show you, I don't know if I'm cheating a little bit with this one, but it is this bag. It's more of a faux shearling kind of texture, I think, rather than faux fur, but it's still got that element of faux fur, so I thought I would just show you. I think this has been in a recent video as well, but I really, really like this. I absolutely love the colour of it. This was a purchase from ASOS. I think it's originally from Monkey. Again, if it's available, I will link it, but... I think I did get this quite a while ago now, but I absolutely love this. I think I said in the video where I featured this that I love having a texture like this just to add to an outfit, whether it is a faux faux coat or a stole, or I just think having that element of a slightly different texture just really helps to elevate an outfit and just make it a little bit more luxurious and cosy and, and really kind of nice and wintry. So I really, really like this for when you don't want to carry a lot around with you. Bags like this just come in very handy. So I think that is everything. So not actually too big. I mean, ra relatively big, if I'm honest, um, but not ridiculous. There is now just a mountain, like a huge mountain of faux fur in front of me. I mean, it's gigantic, if I'm honest, but I feel like that is the majority of my collection. As I said, I do have a few coats, maybe your cardigans with faux fur collar on, um, a bit like, or a bit like this one. This is my leather jacket and this has got just the faux fur collar on it. I mean, if I can get a jacket or a cardigan or anything with a faux fur collar, I will normally opt for it because I just think it gives such a lovely added extra to an outfit. You can take this off, but I just, I never do. I just think it's so nice. Not only does it keep your neck nice and soft and warm, but I just think it adds a little bit of something to it. So yes, I may have a few other pieces like this, but I won't bore you with all of those faux fur collar items as well uh, but I really hope that you enjoyed this video um, I know that it is quite a big collection um, no doubt it will continue to grow it is my vice faux fur I can't help it um, but I hope that this gave you a nice little insight into my um, faux fur world <laughs> If you did like it, then please do give it a like. If you're new, then please subscribe. It'd be really lovely to uh, to have you on board. And I guess I will see you all very, very soon. Have a lovely week. Bye.